Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bulfet. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed happiness on Bahrain endurance team's recent achievements, where Vincent Lewis won the triathlon world championship title held in Hamburg, Germany. Azana Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Vincent's victory in the world championship affirms Bahrain's endurance team's position among international competitors, reflecting the team's goals. His Highness affirmed that the Bahrain endurance team 13 contributes to promoting Bahrain which is reflected in their continuous achievements noting that the attention that was directed towards Vincent Lewis has highlighted Bahrain's sports movement and achieved many goals on various levels he also said that the team is always present at large international championships to represent Bahrain which earned them the current position they hold his highness congratulated Vincent Lewis on this remarkable achievement the chairman of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, the SLRB, and chairman of the Board of Directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RERA, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stated that the total number of real estate registration transactions submitted electronically since the inauguration of the system for submitting applications online four months ago has reached around 3,000 electronic transactions. He noted that the electronic transformation has increased the number of completed transactions and the speed of their completion with the application of the policy of working from home due to the exceptional circumstances of the coronavirus. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah affirmed that the process of updating, evaluating and developing electronic programs is an endless process to keep pace with the developments and the increase in the number and type of transactions and services provided by the agency. He added that the adoption of modern technology is one of the most important factors to attract and increase investment in the real estate sector. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a remote meeting in the presence of Parliament Affairs Minister Ghanem bin Fadl al Burainin and the Central Bank of Bahrain Governor Rashid Al Maharaj with the Chairman of the Financial and Economic Committees of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives to discuss the updates of the Kingdom's financial and economic situation within the framework of continuous joint coordination and cooperation between the executive and legislative set of authorities. The minister stressed Bahrain's resolve to continue facing all circumstances and challenges to achieve sustainable development in implementation of the visions and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa as well as the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also noted that since sincere efforts of the member of Team Bahrain from the executive and legislative authorities and private and civil institutions as well as citizens and residents for the benefit of all. He added that the current circumstances the world faces due to the coronavirus necessitates joint action and the solidarity of all to prioritize national interests. He noted that the launched financial and economic stimulus spared the national economy an unexpected crisis and many Many negative effects. He also reviewed the economic indicators and the implications of some vital sectors which witnessed a recovery in some sectors after the implementation of the financial and economic stimulus and praised the positive and continuous cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities to achieve the desired goals. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to review the procedures for opening public schools and based on the recommendation of the National Medical Task Force and in light of the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases, the Ministry of Education announced the postponement of the start of the school year for public schools for a period of two weeks. All educational staff in public schools will be tested and the return of administrative, educational and technical bodies in school scheduled today has been postponed until September the 20th. As for the employees of the ministry sectors and directorates, the situation will remain the same as last week's until new instructions are issued in this regard. As for private schools, the ministry confirmed that there are no changes to the opening of private schools. 
Under the theme Sustainable Development Goals in the Post-COVID-19 Pandemic, the Bahrain Visions Forum Shared Visions for a Successful Future will be held on the 29th of September, organized by the Office of Israel Han, its Prime Minister, in cooperation with the World Health Organization, which will be held this year through visual communication technology. Israel Han, its Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, will deliver a message to the forum on with his visions regarding the means of facing the economic, social and health challenges that the corona pandemic has created at the global level. Sheikh Hassam bin Isa Al Khalifa stated that the Bahrain Visions Forum comes in the context of the increasing interest that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister attaches to supporting international efforts aimed at implementing the agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030. For his part, the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Adhanom, hailed in an official letter addressed to the Office of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, the cooperation with the office in organizing the forum for this year. He expressed his support and aspirations for the success of the forum to increase cooperation with the Kingdom. Health centers have provided remote medical consultation services from mid-April until September in order to ensure the safety of patients during the coronavirus pandemic based on the principle of social distancing and within the framework of providing a number of health services in a modern, easy and safe manner. The Ministry of Health said that a large turnout was observed for the service by different age groups and called to benefit from these services. The remote medical consultation services service was welcomed by many users who affirmed the ease of the service. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,927 with 322 recoveries, 676 registered new cases and three deaths. 84 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 590 are contacts of active cases and two travel related. The deceased are 77 and 78 and 76 year old female citizens. The Ministry expressed its heartfelt condolences to the families of the the disease and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.